Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profits. I have a video for you guys today and I'm going to share with you um, 10 items that I sold on eBay recently for profits. So um, some of these you guys have heard me talk about before. So this is just proof that, you know, this some of these items, they do sell. Um, some items sell better than some. Um, yeah, so let's get into them, right? So the first item we're going to look at today is this Harley Davidson, um, kind of chambray vest, men's vest. Now I want to say I did a, a, um, a haul video with this not that long ago and I believe I paid $6.98, but don't quote me on that. It could be $9.98 as well, but, um, nothing to hide here. You guys see all my videos. I do most of the items I bought, I, I buy, um, I do haul videos with them. But then again, not all of them. But I'm pretty sure I did one with this. And um, but I'm I, I wanna say I paid $6.98 for it. Um yeah, Harley Davidson. Can't go wrong with Harley Davidson. The item is a chambray. I noticed that sells well. Um, it's only because of reselling I learned what chambray was. And the best way for me to explain it to you is it's like denim, but soft, like a like a soft version of denim. It's like it's like denim and um, a mix in between denim and linen. It's weird. It's a soft jeans material, if you will, right? chambray But anything chambray that I put my hands on, especially if it's um, affiliated with a good brand, usually sells really well, right? Anyway, so Harley Davidson was a definite yes plus um, chambray. Of course, you can't go wrong. It was a big size. It was a 2XL. Um, so really nice print on it. This was the back. I thought that was a better picture to put as the main photo. Um, this is what the front looks like. Same kind of design, smaller, really nice. Kind of like a biker, um, vest. I, I would think is what it is. So yeah. Um, really good condition. Just normal signs of wear wash, right? Um, this was a cotton, 100% cotton. Yeah, flipped it for $49.99 plus $8.99 shipping. Um, listed May 29th, so 2019. So that's the end of May, um, June, July, beginning August. So about two months, a little bit over two months it took to sell. So that was a pretty good flip, right? Uh, next item I want to share with you is this um, Adidas. Um, or as we say, um, from South America, we say Adidas, <laughs> but you guys say Adidas. Anyways, um, this is, um, yeah, I want to say I shared this in a haul video as well. Um, why is this popping up on my screen? What is this? Um, I'm sorry. I got thrown off for a second, but I guess we're still live. Sorry about that, guys. I saw this little thing on the right side here. We are sorry. This video is currently not available, and I thought this was the actual video I was filming, but I don't think that's what that is. So I'll keep going. But yeah, I want to share this on a haul video as well. And um, so I picked this up for cheap. I was contemplating picking it up or not um, because it had this, uh, I think it's a... Ford's Colony Country Club logo. Um, I don't know if it's a golf club as well. Not sure. But I didn't want to really pick up the Adidas with that. So because it was cheap, I picked it up. Definitely less than five bucks I paid for this for sure. Um, maybe even two ninety eight if but yeah, I flipped this twenty five bucks plus five ninety nine shipping. Um, you can't go wrong with brand new. Adidas, I'm um, learning sells decent. Um, just like Nike, I don't pick up just super basic stuff, except if I get it really, really cheap and it's in excellent condition or brand new. Um, this was listed on February 19, 2019. Um, so just took a few months to sell. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I paid not that much for this and um, because of the logo on it. But yeah, I made some money on that, right? Adidas. Pure motion shirt, brand new. Can't go wrong with brand new. So next item I'm gonna share is this uh Trusardi. 
Now, I remember picking this up a while ago. Pretty sure. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, not that one yet. Um, okay, yeah. March 20, 2018 was when it was listed. Now, I didn't see a lot on eBay at, at the point in time I bought it and listed it. But I want to say there was at least one or two that was sold. Or either... Another thing I look for, if I don't see a lot of um sold listings, I would check for the current listings, the active listing, and see if they have watchers. And that way, it tells me if people are interested in these items, right? In this brand. And it was either... I want to say it was either one item was in the solds or I don't know why I'm leaning towards that I saw the ones that were active had watchers so I picked it up it was less than five bucks as well I want to say I got it half off but um you know the quality is the quality that got me because I never heard of this brand before um quality was amazing it was thick um I think it was a medium heavy sweater as well and of course it had the elbow has the elbow patch on it um, the buyer loved it. He left me a really nice review feedback. Um, but yeah, March, it took a while, right? It took over a year to sell, but finally sold. I guess this is one of those brands. It's not a fast selling brand. Well, based on a year ago when I checked it up, there was a few active, but not much sold if I remember correctly. But it's one of those things, I guess if you get it super cheap and you want to put it in your store, just wait on the right buyer. Trisardi. And the, what's interesting though, the ones that you see that I remember seeing, they were priced up. Like my original price was higher than this, right? Trisardi. You said Trisardi Sport on there. Yeah. All right. Next item. So I bought a like a a lot of shoes, like one lot on offer up you know I use the you know the shipping thing so this guy had a bunch of alligator shoes snakeskin shoes and all that um for anyways I made an offer of 100 and he took it and the shipping was 12 dollars and something cents on offer up so I paid 112 for the lot I already sold the other alligator um for 99 bucks plus shipping it was in better condition than this one. This one was in pretty bad condition, but it's Bally. Both were Bally genuine. Um, so I've already made my money back, but I still have the snakeskin, and I want to say I haven't listed it yet. I have some Tommy Bahamas slippers. I have some other dress shoes. I can't remember exactly. I think I have like four more pairs to list. So this wasn't a bad score. I, like I said, I made my money back now. Everything else that I sell will be profit. But genuine alligator, um, snakeskin stuff, you can't go wrong with that, right? And Bally is a good brand. If you check out this brand, especially when it comes to alligator stuff, it'll sell. Like, this is really bad condition. Even the, um, the sole has, like, a dent big time on it. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure the folks that buy this stuff is going to, redo the soles and all that so right here they have this big hole right there it's like you're walking on nothing you probably definitely have to repair that sole but yeah people are gonna pay you for this um alligator skin all right so i charge for 9.99 plus 12.99 shipping next item i want to share with you that i sold well you guys know this is a bread and butter item for me and probably some of you by now as well um, is a polo, the patches, cargo shorts, sells really well. This particular one had a damage, so it took longer than usual. And maybe I, if I asked $19.99, it would have probably moved faster. But I want to say I had this, okay, since January 2019. These sell within a month or two for me usually. But this one had a, a little damage on the pocket. But the previous owner patched it up, so that was pretty cool. Um, okay, so yeah, he patched it up, like darn it in there. And this is what it looks like from the outside. So yeah. But sold it still for $24.99 plus $6.99 shipping, right? You can't go wrong with these polo cargo, polo jeans company in particular, right? 
polo jeans company I find sells really really well and the ones with the the little patches on the pockets and stuff sells really well um paid no more than $3.99 for this for sure next item now this again was in a fairly recent haul I paid $1.98 for this or was it $2.98 no more than that I remember it was like $1.98 or something it was like marked down marked down marked down <laughs> But it was new without tag. It definitely, I think it had the button bag still on it. Yep, it still had the button bag on it. And for $198 or $298, I figure, you know, it's loose. It's a dressy pants. Um, somebody's going to buy it if I price it decent. And I did. I priced it at $99.99 plus $6.99 shipping. New without tags. And you notice the brand is not the best. Everything sells, you know, but it's all about the margins you're looking for. So for $198 or $298, I'll pick this up all day. Um, women's dress pants sells. These wider legs. This is not necessarily wide. It's more straight. But wide legs, straight legs, loose sells really well. Um, so it was the Limited is the brand. Lexi Fit. Um, that's pretty much what it looks like. Lexi Fit. The Limited is up here. You probably can't see it that well. But yeah. Um, this was listed. See? June 2019 so July August like two months to sell so that wasn't bad at all um I made some money on the shipping too because I want to say it was first class shipping it went next item so I'd forgotten about this this is a men's etro etro um <clears throat> Milano blue I guess I've had this for a very long time Yep, November 17, 2017, but I recently sold it, and I got really nice feedback. I took a best offer on this for $30, $30, and the buyer loved it. It actually looks way better than it does in this photo. That's probably why it took forever to sell. It's a white shirt um, with blue patch. Now, this brand, ETRO, there's a ET, I think it's a, it's a good brand. I just haven't found it that much to tell you much about it, honestly. I know there's ETRO, Etro, and then there's Eton. One of them is really good to find. I, I think it's this one, but my photos probably didn't do it justice. But yeah, I took 30 bucks. Probably paid no more than five bucks for this, or maybe even less, all the way back in 2017. When I saw that 30 bucks offer, he could have offered me 15 and I would have taken it, honestly. So, yeah. But yeah, next item. Um, so there's this Lakers, um, Los Angeles Lakers clock. It's like a, I want to say it's like a desk clock, office clock. I have no clue because it doesn't say specifically on the box. And it was brand new. I didn't want to open it. But I had bought a few of these um, a while back at a restore, right? They had a ton. And I think I got them for seven bucks. A piece I even sent some into Amazon back like a year or two ago and every now and then one would sell but then eventually I was like I just no I think I didn't even sell any on Amazon maybe one so eventually you know if you have stuff in Amazon's warehouse you're paying fees so I decided to pull it all in list it on eBay and slowly but surely they're selling especially this year with um you know Lakers the Lakers Los Angeles Lakers acquiring um Anthony Davis, um, I noticed they sold like right after a few of them sold and this was the last one I had and I sold it this week or last week. So yeah, um, it took a long time, but I did make some money on it. Um, I can't remember how many I bought at once. It was a lot though. Uh, so yeah, 40 bucks plus I, I, um, what I should have known is Los Angeles. Most people, mo the majority of people that were going to buy these were from California, right? And I had my shipping at $10.99. And the truth is for me to ship this to California, it was $12.00 $12 and something cents minimum. And every time I would sell one, I would have to, you know, I would, I would charge $10.99. And I don't know why I just didn't change it. It's until the final one I was left with, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to change the shipping to $12.99. So I could have been earning two bucks more on all those, but yeah. Anyways, Lakers clock. I don't know if you'll ever see any one of these out in a while. Like I said, I got this at a restore. 
they had a ton of them and I just bought all for seven bucks a piece. Um, that was when I was in the Amazon mindset though. So, um, I don't know if I would buy this particular type thing in bulk like that before, um, or not before now. I don't know if I would do that now. All right, moving on. Okay. Gap. You guys hear me say I, Gap has been selling pretty decent for me. This is a women's, um, seersucker Gap pants. Um, yeah, just blue stripe. Just the, your basic women's casual pants. Um, I think it's a cropped, cropped pants. Let me see. Yep, it's slim. It's a slim fit, right? That's probably what helped it to sell faster, too. Um, it's a slim cropped. So, yeah, see your sucker. That's that bumpy kind of material there. But, yeah, sold it, listed it. Wow! Oh my gosh, I thought this was something I sold, re I listed recently. Goodness me. Okay, good to know. Well, Gap is really selling for me then, I guess. But yeah, since November 30, 2018. Huh. I want to say I listed something similar recently, but maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, 33 bucks, $33.99, cents, six ninety nine dollars shipping. Um, paid no more than $4.99 for this. All right. Probably less. I just can't remember right now. Um, and last but not least guys, um, I want to say I share this in a haul as well. Um, I picked up a few pieces. It was, you know what? I wish I, they, they actually had more, which was crazy. You know, that mindset that we can fall into where we see a lot of something we think it's not that valuable. Well, I've stayed away from Lacoste for a while because I listed some brand new Lacoste at one point and eBay took it down saying, you know what, I can't list this. It's not, it's bootleg, whatever. So ever since then, I'm like, you know what, I'm not, I'm just not going to. But I saw these and I figured, you know what, they're affiliated with Lexus. These got to be legit. And I picked this one up. It was like mint condition, no tag. I remember picking up a green one with tags. I still have that. And a jacket, this same color, a zip front jacket with tags. I still have that, but I do have watchers and all of them. This one sold recently. I picked this one up for $6.98. The other two was $9.98 each. Um, the, the brand new jacket was $9.98, I think. And the shirt that was brand new was $9.98. But I left one or two just like this one in the store. I Ask me why now because I sold it right for 49 bucks. One of them I remember had a small spot on it But I honestly think I, it could have come out with wash, but anyways, that's my loss um, June 10 2019 was when I listed it recently sold so really didn't take that long um, Lacoste sport I checked it up and they were selling so It was a no-brainer as in Okay, is this real? And the same Lexus logo and all that. They have a few of these on eBay at the time when I listed it. So I figure people are um people have some active. There's some sold, so it should be fine. And apparently it is fine. None of them got taken down. Thank you, Lord. But yeah, guys. So six ninety eight spend forty nine. Um, sold for five ninety nine. Um, buyer absolutely loved it. So he's raving about this. He probably got it a good deal because it was literally new without tag. If you look inside, there's the buttons and all that going on. So, yeah, guys, those are um 10 items I sold recently. Um, subscribe if you um like this type of video and you want to see more. Or just give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment on the bottom or, yeah, let me know. All right, have a good day.